Hi, this is my Kramer Beretta Special Guitar. You may have seen this guitar before in one or two of my videos. It costs around 170 or 180 euro, and it's a fantastic guitar as is. However, tonight, I plan to make some changes to it. I won't waste any time. This is a video for Seinfeld fans. So here's some B-roll footage so you can enjoy the guitar in its purest form as it is right now before I make some changes. So let's go. So after removing the neck from this guitar, I'm now ready to hit it with some 180 grit sandpaper to make it a bit rougher and then add a new coat of paint using some mystery stencils that I had made. So let's go. <clears throat> I'm beginning to think all of this might be poisonous. So after generous application of a few coats of spray paint, this is the result. And it's magnificent. So now all that's left to do is give the brand new layer of black paint a very very light sanding before I add a clear coat. And then we can move on to the next step. So after vigorous clear coating and polishing, this is the end result. Whoa, it looks so sick on camera. Just, just look at it. It's magnificent. I love it so much. So now that my beautiful refinishing job was a success, Time to put some hardware and electronics in it. For a bridge, I've gone with this Babish full contact tremolo for improved sustain. For a pickup, the only pickup in this guitar, I went with the Bare Brute Force Zebra Humbucker. The same color as the pickup that was in the guitar before, which suits it great, but won't be relevant. You'll see why in a minute. This red die-shaped volume knob. And as far as tuning pegs go, I've gone with these chrome-colored Godot Magnum locks. And just for some added speed and pizzazz, I've had the fretboard scallop from the 12th fret upwards. So come quickly watch me assemble this guitar before I add some more fun features to it. And here is the result of that. It is glorious. I love it so much. Now I'm gonna go add some more fun little details for Seinfeld fans to it before I fully assemble it and show it to you in all of its glory, both in looks and sound. So I'll be right back. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, and everything in between, it is an honor for me to present to you, at long last, the Cosmo Kramer. <laughs> I love this thing, it was a passion project if ever I've seen one. Probably not the last one of these I'm going to be doing, but god damn did this turn out beautifully, just the way I wanted it to. So let me take you on the grand tour of this thing. Starting at the headstock, Godo Magnum Locking Tuners, along with a little customization, the word Cosmo. Cosmo! <laughs> Cosmo? <laughs> Moving a little further up the fretboard, every fret from the 12th upwards has been scalloped, making it a lot easier to play as fast as I intend to on this thing. Of course, I couldn't leave the neck plate uncustomized, so here we have a slice of toast that I dremeled into it. You got any meat? <laughs> Down here we have a hand wound in the UK, bare knuckle brute force humbucker, with a cover on it that says ass man. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, Dr. Cosmo Kramer, proctology. I replaced the standard plastic Strat style volume knob with a die shaped volume knob in a matching color to represent Kramer's gambling addiction. How much? $100? $200? $1,000? Kramer, you've had this thing under control for almost three years now. Down here I've added this beautiful, smooth, amazing Babish full contact tremolo that adds a ton of sustain. And of course the centerpiece of the guitar, the thing that ties it all together. These pretzels are making me thirsty. <laughs> I say, I turn to him and I go, uh, boy, these pretzels are making me thirsty. 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 So go on, have a listen to this 80s sitcom themed 80s shred machine.
Thank you so much for watching. I've been planning this video since like September of last year because I really wanted to figure out what my dream 80s shred guitar would be like before I figured out how to visually customize it to fit in as many Seinfeld references as possible. But I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making it. Over here you can watch my most recent video. You can subscribe somewhere down there if you feel like it. All my social media is in the description and somewhere below the screen should be a like button if you're interested. So I'll see you in the next video.